every single beer in existence, ranging from Bud Light to Dasakis. There's 30 of these bad boys, and then we're gonna be rating them from S to F tier. S being superbly awesome, and F being fugly. To answer the age old question, do my parents believe that I'm gonna be good enough for them? Listen, if you don't see your beer here, I don't know what the hell you're drinking, but you're not. Wait, there's no possible way I'm missing anything. There's no IPAs and there's no heavy beers, but that list, we're not drinking those today. That's another video. I don't, I haven't heard of these before. What is this? I thought this was porcelain or made out of like cement. Let's get these out of the way. <laughs> They're not that heavy. Yeah, yeah, nope, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, 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 oh no. You're grabbing my c**k. You're grabbing my c**k. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, but I proved you wrong. Yeah! You want to date to be alive? This was the mo- Oh no, oh no! That's okay, we're not drinking those right off the bat. What bat? Oh my god, they almost don't fit on this little table. Clean slate. Let's grab our first contestant. The king of beers, Bud Light. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Nah, you can't go back home. I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fake, fake. Post Malone's favorite beer. Could it be mine? You ever shock on a tall boy before? This is almost a liter. It's too much. 4% alcohol though. Like, I don't see this going as bad as the other ones. I don't. But it, if it does, that's your that that's your cue to tell you if it did. Right there. It's too big. <laughs> it's way too big. We need a towel. We need a towel. Hey, get a towel. Put that down. Get a towel. I'm wearing your towels. I don't even know. They're in the closet. They're in the closet. <laughs> no. It's dripping everywhere. Get some towels. Good towels. No, no, not all of them. Those, I need to shower with those. Dylan. No, it's. <laughs> stop. I can't. I can't shock on big beers. It's too big, man. Hold on. We got to Oh, it's spilling everywhere. We got to bring this. We got to bring this to the sink of cleansing. Get off them. Dude, I'm getting beer all over the f***ing <laughs> Look, not a drop left. <laughs> what is this? Hold on, what the heck's going on here? Oh my god, there's something in here! It's today's sponsor! Raid Shadow Legends! Raid Shadow Legends is the number one free-to-play mobile RPG game with over 80 million downloads, sick graphics, and tons of new updates every month. And since they just celebrated their fourth anniversary, let's see who I'm inviting to a dinner party. First up, we got Herndig. Herndig's a great starter champion because he's got Alpha Strike, which hits a single target enemy like a truck. And he's gonna be our fighter at the party. Next up, we're inviting Gorgorab. He's gonna be giving all of our champions full support, such as full team revives and he can even remove enemy buffs. He deserves all the food he can get. For our third guest, we got Raglan. And with Raglan on our team, we're gonna be unkillable because look at her. She's, look at her. She's hot. You know, a lot of people ask me what I'm doing while I'm waiting for my week long jar infusions. I'm actually on an egg hunt, but not just any egg hunt, a dragon egg hunt. You can jump into the egg hunt by downloading Raid Shadow Legends using the links below, copying your in-game player ID and heading to egghunt.polarium.com. Jump into the flaming portal and get ready for a wild AR adventure. Traverse the dragon lair with your phone and find the hidden egg. You have a chance to win amazing in-game items as well as real life prizes. Remember real life? There's prizes for that now. You can get legendary raid champions or even Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. This event is for new players, but if you are an existing raid player, head on over to egghunt.polarium.com. You're gonna find a special promo code to get yourself a small in-game gift. There's always exciting things happening in Raid, so if you haven't started playing it yet, time for a shot. Use the link in the description or scan this QR code right now to unlock some crazy bonuses like the Epic Champion, Talia, and tons of other things. 
Now back to the video. Realize we didn't do the sniff test, but where does Bud Light land? I'm gonna give it a B for Bud Light. It's pretty good. Hey, Posty, let me know if you want a collab. I'll shotgun Bud Lights all night with you, and we'll smoke camels. Stay away from them Dybbuk boxes, you know what I mean? Heineken! Didn't want to buy a whole six pack <coughs> of bottles? I don't, nobody wants to buy six packs of bottles. Do you think that's enough to not make it explode when I open it? I had to slam this three times because of this guy. <coughs> okay, it's time for a slurp. really bad pour. <laughs> Sniff test, meaty. But you want your beer to smell meaty. I, I found this trick out where you can lick your finger and put it in there and it gets in the bubbles. See how it's working? Heineken from Amsterdam. Pretty light color. Diboja. I like Heineken's too. Like Heineken has a really good taste. It's smooth. It's got a nice, like, it's not like a crappy light beer. I'm not a big fan of light beers. It's just medium body. I like it. Definitely taste some hops in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the beer tier. It's a Heineken. You can't go wrong with a Heineken. I buy Heineken sometimes. Heineken time. As long as on the beer tier. Let's go, let's go with a random one. You chugged that. Moving on, let's do something I've never tried before. Boom, red stripe. Bartender, check this out. You see a little bubble on that thing? Uh, I can chug the red stripe. I think so. 4.7% alcohol. Jamaican lager beer. Oh, I'm gonna chug it. Red stripe time, baby. It's time for a chug. Diboja. There's not a lot of room after a shotgun that Bud Light, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, it's kind of okay. I'm not at like, let's just see the color for good measure. Oh. Lot lighter than the other ones, I think. This one's all right. Not a fan of the floaties that are in there. See all those floaties? It's all right. It's Jamaican. It's Jamaican me crazy. Um, not a big fan. It's a blonde, I guess. It's a lager. Look, I don't know, I don't know, I, I really don't know a lot about beers. Not a big fan. I'm gonna put this one down on like the C list. I'd still probably drink it if it was like really nice and chilled. Um, could be better. It made a pop sound. Look at this. Woo! You gotta chill out, man. Let's go with the classic. Let's go with the Sleeman 2.0. Oh my God. You know what? This is great. It's, I think this is a light beer. 80 calories per can. I've never had a Sleeman either, so this is gonna be great. I think this is an American beer. Could be wrong. Every day is easy. I'ma keep it for easy. Ooh, this one's a lot like can. Can I get a pour that doesn't have a lot of head? They said it couldn't be done. Color's looking good. Definitely a lighter beer. Not very dark at all. Actually, I'll be honest with you, they've all looked the exact same. It smells like a beer. I don't know what to tell you. These these literally all smell the same to me. I, but I'm trying to say different things. It smells different than Red Stripe though. Red Stripe smells like, like boxes. This smells like cans. What? Diboja. Surprisingly smooth. I actually really like Sleeman. Wow. Wow. There's something about a Sleeman that puts a smile on my face. Put it on the A-list. Wow. 
I like it. <laughs> Man, what is up with this? 80 calories? Sleeman, come on. I'm sleeming uh, coyote blood in. <laughs> Clear 2.0 gets the Doka Ryan seal of approval. It's pretty good. It is actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought you were just full of shit. No, I don't, I don't. That's why we need a camera on you now. We need a cameraman for the cameraman. He just spit it all over my floor. <laughs> This is the perfect time to remind you that there's a drunk meter Right now, you're probably thinking, oh, Ryan's gotta be pretty sober. That's right. But we're introducing it right now. Cameraman is technically drinking probably the same amount as I am. <laughs> so, we're gonna have two different things. One with me, one with him. That's correct. This is a problem. Oh, I forgot. Heads or tails? If it's heads, you have to subscribe and you have to like and comment this video. Also, join the new membership program that just dropped. We got really cool membership badges, so if you subscribe for a little bit of time, you get a cool membership badge. It's a jar and it just keeps evolving and evolving and evolving and evolving. Until finally something happens! <laughs> so if it's heads, you gotta do that. Let's get the snubbies out of the way. This, my friends, is a Mickey's. Milwaukee beer. So this is a strong beer. It's a 5.6% beer. I've had these before. I love them. I don't know what it is. The cute little bottle. The cute little, the little wasp on top of them. Fun fact, I'm petrified of wasp. It's a multitude of all these things. It scares me to loving it. it smells like the most like a beer I've ever smelled beers. That was English, right? <laughs> Definitely smelling a lot more of the bottle than anything. I think it's because you don't smell can. This is good. I like this. All right, I need a new, I need a new jar. I'm getting really good at this. That's darker. That's way darker than the other ones. Probably because it's a strong beer. I know so much about gin now. I know about Mog Myrtle. I know about Heather. I know about Lemon Citron Botanicals. Everything tastes the palate on the tongue, the back of the tongue tastes, the swallow, the after effects. I'm gonna, I know nothing about beer, but I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna be the best beerista you've ever seen. Down the hatches, Diboja. Oh. Very good. I'm actually used to chugging these because there's only one place locally that sells these in a bar. And I usually, only, for some reason, I only order these when it's like close to closing. So they always kick you out and you have to finish your drinks. So I have to chug it so fast. I've never had time to enjoy it. Put Mickey's on the edge here. Milwaukee's finally doing something right. I'm gonna drink this whole beer. It's not that early in the game, right? How many have we done? I'm not enjoying the Mickeys. Leave it at the S tier, but I'm not chugging this. Woo! But I will have one more sip for good measure. It's so good. Okay, fine, go ahead. This is gonna, this gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a mess. Let's move across the continent and go to Japan. That's right, we're using Asahi beer. That's gonna be, this is gonna be a lot of that. Oh, no, no, no. Not a twist off. Good thing I got my trusty bottle opener. Ooh. Oh, look at that little sh coming off the top. Come on, little guy. Whatever. Karakuchi. I should say the. I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna exclaim this while I drink. So this is a super dry beer. It's a 5.2 percent. It's from Japan. Under the Super Master Brewers Brewing Tech, a dry, crisp taste and quick, clean finish. We call it Kakaruchi taste. You must exclaim Kakaruchi when you drink it. How do they fit that on the bottle? Not my best pour. <laughs> this is actually, as, this is about as dark as the Mickey's was last. Why do I feel like it's been 20 minutes since we've done the Mickey's? So I'm finding a lot, oh, hold on, before we drink this, I'm finding a lot out about myself, okay? Why are you looking at the window? This is where my audio equipment is. Shut the f up. <laughs> 
not allowed to drink when you film anymore. No, I'm checking my... <laughs> You're getting paranoid, man. my job. You're getting paranoid, man. So, um... I don't know what I was gonna say! Oh, oh! I'm finding out a lot about myself. So, I got very, very angry when I drank gin. I was very mellow and chill when I drank all of that vodka. I just want to be regular, Ryan. Come back in! When I had the apples, I was so lively. I woke up with a, like, a, a reverse hangover. I ran a mile when I woke up. I feel like this is a time warp. When I drink beer and I drink a lot of it, maybe I'm allergic to it and like the hops, I'm like, I'm gonna die tonight. But like, the, the hops makes time irrelevant. We're at a standstill. We're not on like this linear course anymore. We're more on like this like infinite loop of time and space and what the meaning of it is doesn't make any sense anymore because we're here in the now experiencing the future right then but we won't get there because we're experiencing it now and even yesterday's tomorrow is today's right then like it smells like a lighter cardboard Karuchi! that is very good that's incredible wow this beats mickey's put on the f here yeah, yeah, my cameraman's smirking. Cause he's like, you're really gonna like this one, Ryan. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> Drink the rest of this. Yeah, I love this. This is my favorite beer. <laughs> you have to say Karuchi. Karuchi. Ka Kara. No, it's Karakuchi, you fucking dick. Karakuchi. Is it more fun when you drink? <laughs> I'm having more fun, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> With a cameraman. Karakuchi. <laughs> You don't know a person who doesn't like this beer. We're talking, of course, Pabst Blue Ribbon. I heard the taps work. Mythbusters, I think, did something on that. Adam Savage, everybody. If you're, hey, tag Adam Savage in the comments. Myth busted, am I right? Myth confirmed. I've only had six beers. I'm I'm like where I was at near the like third half of gin. You're not even you don't even care about the video anymore. Hold on. I'm still focusing. Or my my eyesight go <laughs> Okay, no, we're good. Okay. Ready? <laughs> it smells like a conventional beer. But I think what's weird about it is that it's in a can, so it smells more like canned. There's a complete difference between canned beer and bottled beer. Like canned Coke. What's your favorite Coca-Cola? Is it bottled? Is it glass bottled? Or is it canned? Paps Blue Ribbon. Pretty good amount of head. Ugh, this is lighter. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I, for some, for some forsaken reason, I am feeling the beer more than any alcohol I've ever had. This is surreal. Listen, I've drank, I've drank 20 shots in a night and for some absolutely bonkers reason, beer throwing me over the edge. I feel beer makes me, f beer, a beer drunk is funnier than an alcoholic like on gin or something. I don't know what it is. I feel light bouncy. Like I can still perform, but for, this doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go! No, it's not. We're not at that point yet. Wow. Retarded. At some point, I will have to and piss. Bone apple teeth. I want to talk about Papsy Blue Ribbon for a second. It's pretty good. I like Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna call it right now. This is a three part video, man. <laughs> not, not just for me, for you. <laughs> Not able to digest beer. 
When did that happen? Man, I could drink hard alcohol all day and I could be fine. I could go to bed, wake up, no hangover. But like, I found this at like Easter. I had one Coors Light and I was like, oh, I'm feeling it. One, a white beer, a full can. Like, somebody has to do the science behind how come I can drink 17 shots of gin and be coherent, but I can't drink seven half, like 250 cups of beer. This doesn't make sense to me. What is in this that f***s me up more than gin? Look in this closet, look in the closet right now. I can drink this entire shelf from top to bottom, T top to bottom. <laughs> And I'd be alive. I'd be like, whoa, let's make more videos. Let's do it next week. But for some reason, for some stupid reason, I can't handle beers. What went wrong in my lineage that I can't handle beers? This has to be like a nine part video. Let's move on. Paps Blue Ribbon, it gets a C tier. It actually isn't that good. You can't drink that whole thing. Molson Canadian. Molson Canadian. I am Canadian, so this is for me. Your mom loves Molson. Not really. She likes Coors Light. We'll get there. I like Molson. You can drink that with your dad. <laughs> It smells good. It smells like a regular beer. So there's something about Canadian beer that I really like. Like Canadian beer is really good. <laughs> I don't care what Dylan thinks I'm at. I'm f the top. I'm at the f top. He is too. He won't shut the f up. There's no reason why we should continue. But we will. <laughs> You're like. After this, I'm gonna do shot glasses because I'm not gonna lie to you. There's no possible way in heaven or or purgatory that I'm finishing these things. It smells like fresh wood. I like it. it smells good. It, <clears throat> it has like dust in it. It smells like I'm not looking at you, not the camera. Still, we have to reset. Start it over. We'll buy the six. We'll start tomorrow. <laughs> Acting. This is all a joke. I'm not really like this. You wouldn't know this. This is actually all apple juice. I'm to the brim with fiber, man. I'm sh pissing, pissing, sh Dibosia. One thing's for sure. Holy shot glasses after this. I'm gonna put Molson Canadian on the C tier. It's all right. I feel like it could be a little bit better. It's got that strong flavor, but it's not strong enough to bump it up to the B tier. Still good though. Big old C for the Molson Canadian. The C stands for Canadian. Golf beer. Do you like golfing? Do you like beer? Well then we got Michelob Ultra. This is the number one golf beer of all golf daddies out there. The golf daddies, the golf caddies, and all the golf babies that want to start golfing, they drink Michelob Ultra. Oh! <coughs> that one came very fast. Good thing I have several towels to choose from. Woo! Kidding? That doesn't count as a taste test. Big snifter time. It smells light. Very light, very light beer. Time for a slurp. This is the palest beer that I've ever seen on this entire channel. <clears throat> this is when you're hydrated and you have a really good pee. Dibosia. I think I've only had Michelob Ultra one time in my entire life. This is to be the second time. For a light beer, I still think it carries a lot of flavor. It, again, it reminds me a lot of that Bud Light flavor, but like not chugged. 
I'll put, like, I'll put Michelob Ultra on the list. I'm, I'm gonna put it at, at, like, the... I'll put it at the B tier. Michelob Ultra's got a good taste. God, do I actually end up liking, uh, light beers after this? P time. <laughs> Don't follow me. Oh, boy! Let's go, to, let's go to, like, known territory here. We've gone with a bunch of nobodies. Uh, everybody loves Dosakis. This is a beer about the most interesting man in the universe. Let's get it going. I feel like it smells a little bit more strong. Definitely stronger beer. I, I think this might be my one of my favorites. This is the only amber ale that's here on the table. Can't do that again. Yeah, I've been informed that legally I can only do shot glasses of these drinks. This is one of the darker beers. I think it's because it's an amber ale. That is dark. That is definitely an amber color, for sure. When I was younger, I thought my grandpa had superhuman strength. He could just take this ball cap and he'd be like, Oh, Ryan, Ryan, uh, give me a, give me the bottle cap. I'd give him ball cap and he'd be like, check this out. And he'd be like, not like that. God, he's stronger than I am. Oh my God, one hand. Oh, my hands are ha wet. There we go, there we go. So he'd take this and he'd be like, Kind of like a caramel flavor. In a caramel scent. Caramel scent. Let's go. Diboja. From here on in, I'll only do one shot glass. Very good. Uh, I, this, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know this was an amber ale. This one surprised me. If I'm gonna be honest, in comparison to the other ones, I have to put this one on the A list just because I do like amber ales a lot. So Dusakis gets a very good A for amber ale. Am I? What if I was the most interesting man in the world? What would I do? I'd be like running, I'd be parasailing, gliding, skiing maybe, and then I would take an elevator and be like, did anybody fart in here? I'll be honest with you, that was a mistake. Take that. The, f the gigantic Corona. Did I want to pay the full price for all of the Coronas, a six pack of Corona? Not a chance. Am I willing to pay like one eighteenth of the price for a big one? Every day of the week. Let's go. Everybody loves Corona ever since the coronavirus came out. Ole. We have no lime, but we do have, oh, this is a twist off. It's not, but I got a lot of twists. Do you think I can get any of these off without using a bottle cap opener? Oh, everything's a bottle opener. We need a strong foot. This is the strongest foot I know. <laughs> that was the same foot. I'm probably gonna be in a lot of pain tomorrow. <laughs> Boom! Ain't everything is a ball cap opener. Oh, there's a little bit of tiger on there. Corona Extra. So, Corona Extra to me smells like marijuanas. This one's no different. It's time for a shot. Can we get a little bit of head on this? <laughs> the perfect pour, baby! Very light, almost see-through. I can actually, like, you can see a lot of things through this thing. Diboja. I like Corona. Corona's really good. I mean, if I were to, like... Like, I actually would buy Coronas in a bar. Put it on the A tier. Corona's one of my favorites. Although, I, if, if this had a lime in it, it would be an S tier across the board. But, again, Corona's my favorite. <laughs> Just my hands bleeding from the tiger thing. <laughs> Just like grandpa used to do. Ah! Did you know that Pabst Blue Ribbon has a stronger version of Pabst Blue Ribbon? Cool. <clears throat> Sniff test.
Smells like a regular beer. I don't know. There's no real concernable difference. <laughs> I'm like the best pouring master in the world. Diboja! That's a different Pabst Blue Ribbon. It tastes more like, like a beer that I would actually buy, but it, it has such a... I don't know if I like beer out of cans, to be completely honest with you. Beer out of cans, to me, are not my favorite. Bottles! Now that's where you want to invest your t your bitcoins in. Put this one on the D tier. Because I feel like it tastes like cans, cardboard. It tastes like wet fabric. Like when you, like, <clears throat> if you got, if you, like, ran a mile and you put, like, a sock and, like, a... We have a couple more to go. <laughs> Why don't I film you? You ever just get filmed? No. By the way, smash the like button in the comment section. Would you like to see some vlog version of this? Okay, right. You're gonna knock down your stuff. So, we're gonna go to something very crazy. This. Delirium. That's what I feel like right now. So, Delirium, Delirium was a wild card. We were, like, buying a bunch of these, and I was like, this looks kind of funky. So, I, I, you could tell that they have money because, like, they encase, like, the top of this. Belgian beer? Belgia? Strong Belgian beer. From... Belgia. Listen, I, I don't have time for this. Relatable, am I right? It smells like spices. Spices. This is 8.5%. <gasps> you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> there was supposed to be a water glugging part. I'll let the people know. Did you get that? It's time for a shot. <sighs> Not everything can be perfect. Man, I'm really like uh, intrigued by this one. This one's really good, but <clears throat> noodle a burning Dibosha. <laughs> That's so weird. It tastes so spicy. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to put this one at like the D tier because I'm not like, that's not what I expected in a beer. This tastes more like a shot of like a liqueur. It's very perplexing. You wanna have a shot? Yo, give me that camera. Come on. No. You may be thinking, Ryan, where the heck can you get Doka Ryan merch? Hey, you won't believe it. Doka Ryan. You may be thinking, hey, Ryan, where can you get Doka Ryan merch? You can get it from DokaRyan.com. It's the greatest place to get merch. Uh, what can you get? Well, what is this? Oh, this is my time for a shot coaster. Do you like it? He loves it. Uh, you can get a time for a shot coaster. Uh, you can also get the bone apple teeth tees, and it's the last call for the jar party sweaters. And if you're looking right now, oh, oh, there it goes. The dokoryan.com uh, banner just left. Dokoryan.com, the greatest place for Dokoryan merch is official. Moving it up, we're going to Grolsch. I should probably talk about Grolsch real quick. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Ryan, why don't you have the Grolsch bottle? Listen, I couldn't find it. And I can tell they care about the bottle shape and everything about the branding, because on the can, they show the bottle. I'll take a flame in the comments on the Grolsch lovers out there. I should have gotten the bottle. <coughs> it's time for a Grolsch. Digrosha. 
Gross in a can is not the same as a gross in a bottle. I'll be honest with you, from here on in, canned beers will not take the top list. It's something to do with the tin on the inside. The tin is not in it to win. Uh, gross in a can gets a very solid D for dang, should have been in a bottle. <laughs> What's the problem? Let's keep it moving, baby. All right, we're moving on to Pilsner because I don't remember what this tastes like and I don't want to remember it tomorrow. Uh, this is my uh, hometown Saskatchewan's number one rated beer. Got a cute little bunny on there. We gotta restart. Diboja. Oh, smells like sh Diboja. <laughs> F. I just knew something about this can. The way it looks, the way it stinks. It's stinky, stinky, bad, bad. I don't like it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we've reached the threshold. To be completely honest with you, it's 1.30 in the morning on a Saturday. It's passionary manicures. We're gonna have another day. We're gonna be refreshed. And I'm gonna be a completely new person with a brand new hat and a brand new backlight. Follow me. Ugh! Oh, hey, yeah, <laughs> it's day two. The new dawn of a new day. We're sober as all can be. Let's revert that uh, scale down to the beginning. And we're gonna do it again with the remaining amount of beers. Let's start off with a fan favorite. The king of beers, Budweiser. You love it when I get so high. Diboja. Not a drop left. Look at that perfect little like, ow, never mind. I'm positive this is gonna come back to haunt me, but we're starting the day off great. I'm not, no more shotguns. They're big, that was just for the funnies. No more funnies, now it gets real. I drank at least double the amount from last time. That was so bad. And you know what, I, I let me check this out. This is 5%, this is 4%. Budweiser gets a B for Budweiser. It's not bad. Uh, probably shouldn't have chugged the tall boy if it was a small can, uh, it would have been just fine. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Let's go somewhere fun. Let's go to the Coors Light Mountain, baby. The mountains turn blue when it's cold. This is uh, not blue, which means it's not cold. <laughs> Smells not bad. It smells better for like a canned beer, actually. Not the best pour ever for a beer, but hey, look at that head. <laughs> Don't people love head? Lighter color, of course, probably because it's a lighter beer. Um, very fun. Look at that. Do you see me through there? A little bit. I do this. So out of the can. Ooh, smells good. Better than a regular canned beer. All right, it, let's go. Uh, Diboja. Ooh, woody. It's got a little bit of wood to it. Tastes like it comes from a barrel, but it, I know it doesn't. Tastes like wood chips were infused in this. It's not bad. I think it's got a little bit more earthiness to it. I actually don't mind it, but like, I definitely won't be buying Coors Light unless they pay me. Um, to lie, but other than that, hey, Coors Light? Coors Light's not bad. Put it on the B tier. I think it's like it's one of those good ones that you can just get when you get it. But other than that, like, I feel like it could just be one of those things that you don't buy. It's just in between the C and the B. So uh, Dylan, if you want to put it in between the C and the B, uh, it's like a C and a half. The flavor is okay. It's just, you know, I feel like it's not really as good as the other light beers that we've had so far. Some would call that a C plus. Let's go with, I like Bohemian. Fun fact, you can actually put Bohemian and Clamato juice together to make a Clambo, and it tastes pretty good. 
Yeah, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Boom, baby, boom, baby, boom, boom. All right, sniff test. It's not bad. I think, like, this one, you want it to smell like a can? It's off to a great start in that kind of regard. Big can energy. Boom. Is Bo a light beer? No, it's a lager. 5%. That's a really light 5%. I'm always infatuated by the fact that they're different colors. Like this is more of like a, like a pea yellow. Some of them are darker pea yellow. Diboja. Bo's great. <laughs> Oh, this has a lot heavier of a taste to it than I like. Um, you can taste a lot of what's in it, which is beer. I don't know, I really like lagers. Everywhere I go, I try to get either a lager or a sour beer, which is kind of weird, because they're very different things. Bo's where you want to go. Go to the Bo. Bonus clip! Bonus clip, 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 bonus clip. Ah! Uh, not sure where this originated, but it's really popular here in Saskatchewan where I'm from. Bohemian and Clamato juice. Clamato juice, of course, being uh, like clam flavored tomato juice. So you add your little clam, however much you want. That's probably too much, honestly. <laughs> but then you add the rest of the bow, you get a nice little clam bow. And it's a beer and a clam. Look at that color. Isn't that just a beautiful little color? You can see the bubbles rising up. Oh, God, it smells so good. And then you just want to chuck it back. Cl uh, Clamboja. Um, and it's really good, but I'm not gonna chug it all the way back because I got- I don't know if you've seen how many more I have to do! But Bohemian deserves to be where it is. Put it on the A tier! It's one of my favorites. Uh, I'll just buy it wherever. Hell yeah. And if you mix it with a clam, it's pretty good if you like clam. Not everybody likes clam. I'm gonna finish this by the video. This is gonna be my chase for beers that I am having a hard time pounding down. Let's move away from the small cans. Let's go to something everybody loves. Uh, Blue Moon! Blue Moon, you're firmly standing alone Without a love of my own Wow, uh, actually Dylan, I think it's time. Where am I? I should not have uh, done that Budweiser, not gonna lie. Um, Blue Moon. It's a Belgian white. Of course, uh, Bière de Bleu de Stal Belge, which means Belgian moon. Wait, Blue Moon. It's a Belgian white <laughs> from Belgium. I think. It's a Molson Coors product? Huh. Sniff test. Kind of like more, it's got something in there. I don't mind it. I, I think it smells really light though. I guess it's because it's a white beer. I don't know a lot about beer. I am learning quite a decent amount, like barley, hops, oats, cattle, cramps. All goes. I'm getting freaking silly off of these. Oh wow, look at that color. <laughs> That is what you want to see in uh, a beer. Like, a kind of a murky orange. If your pee looks like this, go see a doctor immediately, because there's something happening. <laughs> wow, S tier, S tier, S tier, S tier. This is insane. I know, I, I don't think I've had enough Belgian moons in my life, because they're not cheap, <laughs> so I don't buy them at the bar, but, this is the time I get I get to splurge a little bit. Get to have a little fun with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> For the audience. Uh, Blue Moon, very good. Uh, let's have a little bit more. It belongs on the S tier. It's just that good. Maybe just a little more. Blue Moon's very good though, S tier. Absolutely deserved. Where did I put these glasses? Well, I was done with them. Found it. Found one. I've been putting them sporadically all over the room. <laughs> Oh, that one's got clam in it. Where the hell did I put the other one? <laughs> Dylan, where did I put the other one? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about this point. There's two there, one there. Oh, because I've only done three. <laughs> what is? 
Again, what is in beer that does this to me? I don't understand. If you're a da scientist, please tell me. Uh, let's go with uh, this beautiful tiger Asian lager. For some reason it says Patty on it. Shanghai, it's got a little tiger on there. <laughs> Just like a beer in a can. It's time for slurp. I'm gonna make a prediction. I think when I pour this in, it's gonna be medium yellow. No, that's light yellow, my friends. No, that's medium yellow! Woo! Fruitier than most, which is kind of weird. Diboja. Oh, it's not half bad. Not a fan of the aftertaste. It just tastes really like, really hoppy at the end, which is okay for other people. <laughs> this is all right. I'm gonna put it at the D tier just cause of that last note. The beginning tastes like, honestly, like a Bud Light to me. Honestly, do not go get them, Tiger. That was really funny, I think. Oh, there's still more in the cup. We've done so many things. Let's get these glass bottles out of the way with Kingfisher beer. Now I've had this on many occasions. I like it, it's uh, India's beer. This bottle? Not a chance. Good thing I got my trusty Japanese cork bottle. Oh. Got my trusty uh, steel. Uh. Good thing I got my trusty Japanese cork. Good thing I got my trusty Japanese cock watch. Good thing I got my Japanese steel trusty bottle opener. Pretty good. Still got it. Oh my god, yeah. That's the Kingfisher promise, baby. We're in the big leagues! Woo! I just hit the cameraman in the nuts. Woo! I'm feeling the buzz! Alright, Kingfisher. Uh, time for a slurp. That is dark! That is like as macaroni yellow of a liquid as you can get before you're drinking pure macaroni. Alright, let's go. Uh, sniff. Great, smells like a, a cerveza. Is, is this smells a lot like Corona, in my opinion. Diboja. Kingfisher is an S tier for the single reason of everybody remembers their first Kingfisher. This has a full body taste. Imagine a Corona uh, extra with just a little extra flavor in half. I like my beers to have flavor. That's why I kind of like this more than I like a light beer but I still like light beers that have flavor, which is why I really like like a Bud Light or um, whatever the other one. Like a Michelob Ultra, I kind of think I remember I liked a little bit. So that's pretty good, I think I like it. That's great. Uh, keep up the great work, Kingfisher. India gets my seal of approval. Don't go Ryan seal of approval, you get it. I like you a lot, India. Please return my texts. I need to talk to you dearly. 12% of you are subscribed to this channel right now. That's not a whole heck of a lot comparative to what it could be. Uh, if you could do me an absolute solid, you know, tell your uncle, tell your dad, uh, tell your mom, tell your brother, if they could just hit that sub button, it's time for a Clamato break. Now, the fun thing about Clamato is that there's a lot of vegetables. Think about it as like a V8, but with clam. This isn't gonna help me. Honestly, I'm too far in. Hey Siri, what's the percentage of water in beer? I found this on the web. It's about 95% water. <laughs> wait, wait, 
like the wait, pure is like a jellyfish in terms of water content. It's about ninety five percent water. Oh, thanks. That's exactly what it has. Stella Artois, great beer. This is like the champagne of beers. Don't tell Miller genuine draft that I said that. Don't do it. Can, uh, sacrimonious mask can smell. So, I don't know. One. Time for a slurp. Uh, pouring. Darker. Not as dark as the Kingfisher, but still pretty dark enough that I'd probably consider this darker yellow. Medium, maybe? Darker than medium. Medium dark, medium plus, medium, medium point five. Wow. Diboja. That has more suds. Oh no, I feel it's so full on my belly, but I can't burp. Wow. Oh, there's a little one. <laughs> it's not the amount that I needed. Very good. I like Stella Artois. I buy it quite frequently, even though the price point's a little bit above what I'm willing to spend. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put Stella Artois on the A-list. I don't think it quite deserves an S-tier just because there are better beers out there, but Stella Artois is still very, very yummy. Yummy, yummy. I would drink it. Miller Genuine Draft! Can you rub my back real quick? That kind of hurt. Like. We're on the right yet. Get you good. I know a lot of people who love MGDs. I might be one of them. No! Invest in a good towel, because like these things slurp off the mask. What did I say it smells like? Oh, hey, check this out. No looker. Time for a slurp. <laughs> I poured the wrong way. <laughs> oh, what am I, silly? All right, there we go. Medium yellow, baby! All right, all right, all right, drag, baby, love you! Divosia! Miller Jenny Hood drafts are very good. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of at a tour, like a torn uh, part of the thing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm at a crossroads. That's what I want to say. Because Miller Jenny Hood draft to me tastes very good. Almost like I want to put it at the S tier, but I know like just like in my own mind, I don't know if it should be on the S tier because it's it's definitely A or S tier. The thing, the, the problem I'm having is this is from a can. Bottled genuine Miller draft is definitely S tier. Can? I don't know if the can, I don't know if the can is goofing with it, but. You know what, For from my own mind, I'm struggling to put on the S tier, so put it at the A tier, but it's still, I really love a good MGD. I think a lot of people do. And that's why we relate on a level psychologically that I think makes us like best friends online. So if you have like a Mello, Miller Genuine Draft later on the house, let's just go ahead and do a little quick salute. Pop the screen, do a little Diboja, and let's just praise the Miller gods, which I believe is Coors. Diboja for the Miller Genuine Draft lovers out there. I just don't know if it belongs in the S tier yet, but like, stick it maybe on the A. A killer's favorite beer. <laughs> oh, Milwaukee! <sighs> Milwaukee doesn't taste bad, but it's uh, definitely up there. Put Milwaukee on the D tier. D for Dahmer. Honestly, I can imagine, like, when you <laughs> you drink this, you want to eat the little guys. Well, if you see, if you watch the video up to this point, please, in the comment section, just write, remember when you went full Jeff Dahmer? <laughs> if, 
<laughs> It'll be our little inside joke. I like every single comment that says that. Not a single drop left. Wow. We've made it this far. Let's keep going. Uh, let's go bush light. Never mind. We're gonna go with just regular conventional bush. Let's sniff a big bush. It smells good. It's good beer. It's good smell. It smells like a canned beer. It's like a light 0.5. It's not quite medium, but it's not quite light. Bush, bushy, bushy, die busha. It's pretty good. Hits the part. It hits the spot very well. Put it on the put it on the A tier. I feel like bush just really kicks the spot. Like if you're if you're having like a nice barbecue and you really want to like have a really fun time with friends and you're in America and you're having like a wow, hey, how's it going, Andy? Uh bushy bushy, get me the gushy. <laughs> Let's go, baby! We're talking an absolute beautiful thing called Sapporo. Oh man, I love Sapporo. I've had one of them ever. <laughs> Japanese steel, Japanese beer. Smells like heaven. That's a darker yellow. Saposia. Great. Put it on the A tier. Oh, no, it's really good. Oh, mmm. A little bit of puke came in out there. Uh, if you ever find canned Sapporo, don't drink it. It's a lie. It's not what you want to drink. Uh, you want Sapporo straight from the tap. Uh, in this case, it's a UV coated brown bottle. Uh, you can tell it's good because it's got that star. The final four, the fantastic four. Let's go ahead and rip open a seagull. Caca! Caca! Seagull, baby! Seagull, baby! Austria! Okay, let's go. Test. <laughs> Time for a slurp. Very big head, but you know what? We're trying to cut down the carbonation because Papa's stomach not doing too well with the carbonation. I'm so thankful that we only did 30. Diagboja. Oh, oh, Steagle tastes really good. Wow. Flavor country. Wow. I could, uh, can, you know what? I've, I don't think I've ever had a Stiegel just for fun. For funsies. This is great. I like this. You know what? Stiegel has like that really good like mid flavor with like an absolutely like left hook of fun. I can see myself buying a Stiegel. I think Stiegel belongs on the S tier. I'll tell you why. Stiegel comes in a beautiful white red can. There's no care whatsoever about anything else. Um, but I'm a design guy, so that doesn't matter. Taste-wise, very yum yum. Yum 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 yum. I could drink this uh, on a hot day. I could drink this on a cold day. Uh, if I was at a bar and they had Stiegel on tap, I'd be like, Stiegel, please. <laughs> Even Stiegel. Stiegel. Steven Seagal. This is, like, you, you, you're not going to see this anywhere else. This is probably going to make its way on Reddit to be like, this guy drank 30 <laughs> beers. 15. In one day, in what? How long has it been? We've been recording for maybe like what? Two hours, not even? Like an hour and a half? Can you imagine the headlines? Doka Ryan, dead from Stiegel beer. <laughs> oh, oh, we should do something crazy. Oh man, check this out. Let's do a, let's do a little, let's do a little hat swap here. I'm feeling this one. So this one caught my eye. This is a brand new hat. I haven't worn it very much. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try my best to be as sober as possible doing this next beer. <laughs> You're smiling. Hi, welcome to the channel. Let's go ahead and do a Lucky Lager. Uh, so Lucky Lager is an absolutely crazy, uh, delicious beer. Uh, it's got barley, or-arger. You know what I just found out? Let me tell you something funny I just found out. <laughs> Orga is just French for barley. <laughs> <laughs> 
1934. Uh, estimated 1934. That's when the company was built. Oh, a little fruity on the on the nose. Hey, we're lucky logger. I don't have a can. Hold on. <laughs> you just tried to pour it in an invisible cup. Well, that hand gives some good head. It's actually like a medium light. Light plus, light plus. Definitely a light 0.5 for me. Are you feeling lucky, punk? No, I'm ready. It's not very good. Um, if I had to put it on a scale of like S to F tier, this definitely belongs in the S tier. Uh, it's not very lucky at all. Like, it's lucky that it even made the tier list. This is really bad. It tastes like flat soda. If soda tried to be a beer. Um, not a big fan. Again, lucky, lucky that I'd even put you in the, uh, in the, in the, in the lineup. Very bad. If I had another chance to make this tier list, I would have not even put lucky in there. Do you know what time it is? Oh my god, it's PACIFICO TIME! Bueno, see. Sí. No looker. It smells like a good beer. I like it. it smells like a Pacifico standard. You know, it's the perfect pour, some would say. Diboja. Oh, that's great. Put on the A tier. Pacifico, in my mind, gives me like the vibe of like a, a very good Belgian moon, but with a little less. So it's not quite a Belgian moon at the S tier where it belongs, but it's, it, 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 you know, it's something that I could definitely enjoy on a uh, hot summer day with an umbrella overhead, keeping the UV rays out of my eyes. And my eyes matter. Do you see this can? It's the last can we have left. We left the best, hopefully the best. For last. Harp Lager. Hell's <coughs> 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 heart. That's the heart promise. We need a palate cleanser. All these beers have been about the same. I just I need this one to be real. Harp, the final beer, the final frontier, the final front beer. I didn't even open it all the way. Way darker than most. You ever just like smoke a bunch of tobacco and you're like, God, I'm addicted now? Like you know it's bad, but it's so good. Dublin, Ireland. 30 beers, the final tears. Don't shed no tears, have no fears. Diboja. It's got a, it's got a good taste to it, but again, it feels very weird coming out of a can. I gotta do a, like a straight bottle series. The, put this one on the on, on the C tier. Actually, put it on the D tier. Put it on a step lower. It's all right. It just it like it, 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 it in comparison to a bunch of the other beers we've <clears throat> had today. It's all right. It doesn't wow me. It doesn't zow me. It doesn't get me going like into another dimension of like beers. It doesn't make me want to go like. It's a D-tier beer. I hate to end it on a low note, but like, come on, Dublin. Do better. Wow. Well. Gears. This. <laughs> this right here. 30 absolutely beautiful beers. Tiered out to the best. Let's just, let's just have a wonderful clap in the comment section.
We've done it. Uh, this has been the uh, beer tier list. Again, everything I say is law. If one of your things isn't here, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get it for another future video. We had a lot of favorites and a lot of dislikes. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I still, f I hate this. If you are the brand that makes this, you should feel ashamed. The bottle had everything. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the beer tier taste test tier list. I'm your boy, Doka Ryan. If you look right up here, this is the video that YouTube chose for you. Down here is a video that I chose for you. Let me know which one's better. Right up here, the Doka Ryan button. Smash that if you want to sub, put notifications on. And hey, hit that join button if you want to get some membership perks. This could be a fun time, but hey, Diposia, and I'll see you in the next video. Wow.